Hey, welcome back. My favorite level. There was gonna be like three seconds of silence there because I, for a second, I didn't know if the capture started. Ah. <laughs> oh, you can this. you can shoot this now. This is listen. I'm gonna get those two nanners faster than you can say Dole, Bob or otherwise. Bob Dole. Bob Dole. Bob Dole says Bob Dole. So we've got this is the thirteenth ep episode. Oh, we got thirteen, 13 bananas. bananas. So if you don't get a banana in this episode. It's your fault, right? Do I have to... Does Chunky need to chunk... Chunky needs to, uh, like, super slam that, I believe. All right, well, this is a really shoddy organization where five Kongs are needed to get into that fucking barrel. So, would being able to switch Actually. Kongs anytime make this game better? No, nothing would make this game better. There, there are things that would make this game better, Brand. Your bitterness aside... I think y y you do two Kongs, Donkey and Diddy, okay, and you have them in an adventure, yep. and it's 2.5D, and it's a side-scroller, and we don't feel... They did that like 10 years later, okay? I, I you know, I, guess what? It was a hit. That you've never played. Yeah, but I know that it was a... You can listen, I, I saw I saw Craig Harris review it for IGN. It's true. I, I remember. Did Craig Harris really review Donkey Kong Country Returns? I believe so, yes. The first one. I'm crazy. I thought he'd left by then. You gonna capture this banana fairies with your banana camera? I assume it's a banana camera, but you skip through the dialogue. The <laughs> I believe the official term is banana camera. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can get in there as Lanky. Yeah, and there's a nanner in there. There's a nanner, and mm. you have to get the one for Diddy. No, and but I fuck. I did that. We've discussed this. Oh, you did that? Yes. I don't believe you. I went back in time and I did it. You did it off camera. I off did it off camera. Yeah, off camera. Because I slept here in the basement, yeah. where you where you keep all of your guests in the dungeon. Yeah, this is a very nice bottom floor. It's not even a basement. Is that, is that what you tell people? That's a weird compliment. You have a very nice bottom floor. It only goes up from here. Uh, ooh, that's a snap. That's a pun. Yeah. So like, the ladies, uh, you know, the lurdies. I can say like, once you get to the top, you're you're the top, you're on top. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Once you get on top, you tell where it goes, it goes, man. Yeah. I, um, I, my, my friends actually just moved in right across the street. Which oh, is, that's really Which cool. is kind of crazy. It's in, like, the same kind of neighborhood area. Um, in, uh, Penelope Peepers Lane, wherever we live. No. No, I will, yeah, just give away the street. Well, that's that why, I I, that's why I, Penelope I, Peepers, not on the same street as, as me, but, like, Oh, on uh, Japer Jasper's uh, Joyride Adventure Lane. In <laughs> these are all real streets. No, they're not actually. They might as well be in this fucking place. Yeah. Anyway, continue. Um. Yeah, it's like they're in the loop. Like the you you've seen that the 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 road that I'm uh -huh, on yeah, like yeah, loops yeah. around. Yeah. So they're in that loop. They're a mile away uh -huh. because they're on the exact opposite end of the loop, but they're still really close. Cool. And we were joking that, or they were joking that, uh, when they redo like the walls and stuff, because it's kind of a bit of a fixer up where they're redoing the kitchen and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, they they're just gonna put tile on all the surfaces Beautiful. like a pool. And I'm like, yeah, then you can fucking fill it with water. And my friend Josh is like, yeah, then we'll have like a multi-story party where it's like a giant pool on the inside. Except, and I said, except people are drowning on the bottom floor. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I, I did once in college that I'd love to do again? I'm not going to because of the way the summer ended up panning out. Oh my god, it's Peggy the Vulture. Was that the name we decided? Harriet. 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 <laughs> Harriet the Vulture. Go get get the Vulture. It's in the room. I, I thought it was in another room. I thought, I, I thought it was in this room. Well, we're about to find out here on Alex Plays. Here, right. here on Alex Plays. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, the, okay, so there's, there's flames. There's the mouth. <laughs> there's there, the mouth. There's Harriet. It's not even Harriet. It's a much darker vulture than Harriet was. No, it's not Harriet. This is not our Harriet. On, what did you do with Harriet? Get on the top of the thing. Yeah, I'm going to. Um, I, I, my college hosted a foam party. A foam? Have you ever heard of a foam party? Do you no. know what those are? Uh, it's a party. And uh, everybody gets into their, into their bathing suits, their swimming clothes. And, um... It's a, it's like a, it's not a pool, but imagine like one of those bounce houses. Okay. Uh, on a small scale, it'd be a bounce house. Uh, and a larger scale would just be a giant area. And it's just absolutely full of, of foam. So like, it's kind of like it being, living in a bubble bath. 
and people oh like like liquid foam right so they're slipping and sliding i was thinking of like styrofoam no and having and having you know very sexy moments with each other it's kind of hot there's yeah there's there's (laughs) there's not a lot of friction and there's a whole lot of rubbing i like it episode title (laughs) not a lot of friction whole lot of rubbing i mean that oh the vulture's getting smaller oh it's moving target there we go break the target you fucking killed that vulture Harriet Tubman, the vulture, is dead. I love how that's the only Harriet either of us know. <laughs> of course. It's the only famous Harriet I can think of. Right. Oh. Now you can get the crown. No, Do it. The crown. Do I'm, it. Lanky's. I'm, I'm making progress here. Do it. Place. Where is it? It's on the other side. Like your friend on uh, j- Jibber Jabber jabron, Jabroni Way. Yeah. The other side of the loop. The other side of the loop. We call it the LPP loop because you know me. Is. Oh, critter carnage! That means I have to, I have to beat up some, some crocodiles, crocodiles. You have to beat all of them in the time limit, and not die. Well, I, I was, I was unaware of that restriction. <laughs> well, I mean, usually it's just like the 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 switch to the invincibility area. If you die in between it, it'll go away. Oh, really? Yeah. Beautiful. Wonderful. Wunderbar. Gundabar. Wunderbar. Poondabar. Poomba. Poomba and Timon. Puma shoes. Good. Nailed it. Um, you got the right idea with the running attack. Good. I little, did not have... I got overzealous. One might say you're a little too lanky. <laughs> I'm a pretty lanky person. Yeah, you are. IRL. You're, you're very tall. Thank you. you told me your height before you got here. I did. Uh, and I... You I'm just, always surprised. Right. How tall are you? I'm like five, I guess five ten or five eleven. Beautiful. Just very taller. average. No, I think you're taller than average. Maybe. I think the uh, the average height of a woman is five five. See, I like tall women. So, do you like women who are taller than you? I'm not opposed. Yeah. Uh, that, a lot of men that, that don't. Is, yeah, no, but that's like a, a woman's thing. Like, I've gone on dates with women and just had conversations where they're like, thank God you're tall. If, if a woman can wear heels around you, then they're usually happy, depending on the situation. Because that means that if you go to a formal event and they wear heels, then it's not. Uh, see, I was browsing OkCupid. Okay oh, you survived. Wow, well, well, well played. You well played, the, sir. You got the crown. So you're browsing on OKQ. I was browsing on OKQ, which we discussed last night. And okay, the OKC. You're hanging out the, at the OKC. It's, it's funny. You should listen to the episode of Waffles versus Pancakes. I labeled it episode 7. I don't actually know what episode it don't is. Don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. I don't even think that they're going to have episode numbers so much as they're just going to have titles. I, I don't know if I can get behind all this crazy off-the-rails forward thinking thought process all right before i blow your mind further continue continue speaking um speaking your mind when you listen to it we talk extensively about okay cupid and everything and i brought up that a lot of the women on there seem like super picky but like yes. so do a lot of the guys so it's it's a double standard or it's i, I have a double thing. standard but it's it's reality it's like right. how both sides are and i remembered a scenario that i didn't bring up when we recorded it uh which was the girl said, I'm 5'11", so if you're not taller than that, don't even bother messaging me. And I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yep, I've seen that. Oh, I never told you. So I, I spend a very limited amount of time on Tinder. I'm talking about I delete that app. I'm, I'm on it for like two days, and then I'm off it for like four months. You're walking on your hands. I'm walking on sunshine. Goddamn right. And... Uh, I sometimes I actually read whatever you could you could list like a sentence on Tinder. Yeah. And well, my favorite sentence that I ever heard because it was on such front street and it was definitely not the woman for me. Looking for my first ex-husband. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I'm just saying like you know what? You weed a lot of people out with that statement. Yeah. She was a beautiful woman and I I guess I guess Experience had taught her that that was a you know she could achieve the goal that she wanted. Yeah. But uh, looking for my. But if you ain't if you ain't no punk, hollow, we want prenup. Right. (laughs) We want prenup. Yeah. Yeah. She you know and I'm I'm looking for a woman who's not a hollow back girl. Anyone? Ain't no hollow back girl. If a woman is a self-described hollow back girl, probably not gonna. Is hollow back girl? Does it have a technical definition? Uh yes. 
I, I assume it's, it's when, a, I, I believe, rather, it's when a woman, um, responds to a guy who's, like, catcalling or, or, uh, oh. like from booty calls and stuff like that. Okay. So if she's receptive to that, she hollers back. Okay. But if she doesn't, then she ain't no holla back girl. Go, um... Go down the water. Oh, so I can, so I can get the banana balloons. Pop the banana, banana balloons. balloons. Pop on the banana balloons. The nanner balloons. The nanner balloons. Yeah, I don't know. I I saw browsing the OkCupid okay last night since we were talking about it. I was updating my profile. Oh, one good. girl said, don't message me if you're white. Just another one of those white guys, which you probably are, so stop reading my profile now. And then in parentheses, she said, to be honest, I'm only really looking for Middle Eastern men. That's cool. And I'm like, that's that's fine. And she said in parentheses, so if you needed to push, there it is. But I'm like, it's so, it's so weird. Like I guess seeing like a profile so frank. I, I guess like my thing is like uh, that kind of personality. Uh, it turns me off to it. Mm -hmm. it. Turns me off to a person, so it makes it easier for me, I guess too. I hope it works out though. For her, yeah. Yeah. I hope it works out for everyone. To be honest yeah. with you. Everybody deserves love. But if you're not taller than 5'11", don't even bother messaging me, Brant. <laughs> thank God I'm 6'2". Yeah, thank God. <laughs> what, are you, what are you supposed to do? Just be like, all right. I think we're hyper-compatible, but my height... Oh, good. I'm, am I, we're going to get more another... Nah, take? Keith. Oh, my God. If I get that barrel, Get that challenge barrel. Then I'll have enough nanners. Brant, you have enough nanners in my heart. You gotta, you gotta have Lanky's uh, little palm walk. What? Okay, let's just look at that posi that position there for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> While well, Lanky fucking freaks out. <laughs> While well, Lanky fucking freaks out. Hoopla! Do, do you like how he says hoopla? All right, let's. That's that's position to hold. That's position one. That's, Assume position one. That is, that is impressive. It is it is the butt climax position if ever I've seen one. The the BCP. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. Oh yeah. All right. Let's see what I have to do. That's oh, this things. one. Teetering turtle trouble. So if the if the turtles look like they're about to fall, fire a melon into the snake's mouth. And to reload, you aim at the watermelon in the middle. I'm using my exceptional dexterity to just keep this train rolling. Fucking, I, you know what I love about you, Brant? Your no. humility. <laughs> no, no, I shall not, I shall not be thwarted. These ones aren't that bad. They get like a little fucking too crazy later on. Cause you'll do harder versions of the challenges. Well, I just nailed it. You did. Give me my nanner. Boom. 15 you have 15. Nanners. That's enough nanners. In episode 13, we got two bananas. And That's now we're going to celebrate with dance. the trombone. <laughs> It'd be great if the trombone was made out of bananas. It, how do you know it's not? Why does Lanky Kong's fucking music thing just shoot out Donkey Kong? Like DK at the end of it. Um... Take he's a, serenading Donkey Kong. No, because that's going to take me to Tiny's thing. Yeah, no, I was thinking uh, so this, one's gonna this was out me. in the world. Oh, look at this. Look at that. I'm just... Everything's coming up lanky. Oh, my God. It's better than Millhouse. That's just the reference. Oh, yeah, this. I also remember this. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all coming back to me. I haven't really played this game in a long fucking time. Yeah, it's, again, self-preservation. Yeah, that's what it was. I like this game. I thought we'd been over that. I want to see if that fucks everything up. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, there's another hit. Oh, and it kept taking health. Good. 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 Oh, good. Just, just fucking dandy. You got this. Get the bananas. Just swing there. Swing over. Swing back. I don't know how to swing back. You just uh, release. Okay. There we go. There you go. I think I nailed it. <laughs> did I do it? Did I do the thing? Yeah, you did it. Cool. You got it. You can see the golden banana up there. Oh my god, there's a golden, there's a golden banana. I'll just get the, the tokens and then, uh, okay. I want more. There you go. You're greedy, man. You ask too much of this thing. They give me they give me a peel and I want, it, All right, uh, so I want a bunch. You have to do something about shooting 
the grapes at those fucking monkey faces. That's fine. Just get those tokens. Okay. Is, is it Z? It's on the way back. You hit A. That's dumb. That's not dumb. That's how video games work. Well, let's solve this banana puzzle next time on Alex Plays. Sure.